Okay, so now we're at this beautiful case showing an amazing variety and diversity of pheasants, which is really interesting because some of the first observations of LGBTQ plus animals was actually in pheasants and hens. Some of the earliest references to queer nature is actually from Aristotle, who wrote specifically about sex changing birds, but would more readily and more accurately be described as females presenting as males and vice versa. Aristotle specifically wrote about female hens presenting as males, not just in appearance, but also in behavior. Over the centuries, these sex-reversed birds allowed many scientists and naturalists to explore subjects that were typically seen as taboo, such as homosexuality, but also the ability for animals to change their observed sex. One of the most significant contributions was a paper titled An Account of an Extraordinary Pheasant by the Scottish naturalist John Hunter in 1780. In this, he talks about sex changing pheasants and peahens and uses it to explore humans as well. But more significantly, he also starts talking about secondary properties. Now, Hunter's work wasn't really picked up on or expanded on until the English naturalist William Yarrell started talking about it in 1827. Yarrell developed it and it actually suggested that it wasn't just older birds that had this ability to change their plumage, but could also be done by younger ones. If any of this sounds familiar, it's because Yarrell's and Hunter's work is one of the cornerstones of Darwin's theory of sexual selection, particularly the notion of the secondary sexual characteristics and the notion that within the body there is the ability to change. This all helped to feed into this idea of the mutability of characteristics and later genes, which is more behind the entire process of evolution itself. Right, next up, we're going to go and see Richard Owen, who is just around the corner. We're about halfway through the tour at this point, so if you've had enough, then you can duck out. But there's still plenty more to see, from Guy the Gorilla to queer penguins and hyenas. Let's keep going, shall we?